what's going on guys welcome to another video and for today's video is rather an interesting one it's actually a video regarding on how can we make a customized login page for AppSheet now just a bit of footnote here is AppSheet uh, comes with a built-in uh, login um, module which whereby you would select either Google, Microsoft and other certain options that you can use to log in uh, also known as the single sign-on or uh, the integrated sign-in module and however this uh, customized login is not recommended due to a lot of security reasons and but then again since a lot of you has asked and I make videos based on your asking or on your questions. So I follow what the people wants. So without further ado, let's head on and see what are the steps that needs to be taken to create a customized login. But take this with a grain of salt uh, because this may not work uh, fluidly since it's not built for that. I mean, AppSheet is not built for that. But then again, anything's possible in AppSheet. So let's check it out. Okay, so first of all, I've created a user table. As you can see, it's actually consisting of the user ID, the username. So again, username here is the email address. Of course, you can put name, last first name, last name, whatsoever later on. But most importantly the username and password role is something that we'll be covering in part two perhaps where we can go deeper in terms of user role and of course the next table i have is login so we have login id username password and timestamp so some of these elements I'll be covering in the other parts or another part of the video, especially timestamp, which I will explain on how to create a, a session timing, which will automatically log out the user once it exceeds a certain period of time. I mean, this is important if you are looking in terms of uh, an extra layer of security. But nevertheless, so once we have all this ready, and of course, the other table here is data. So data is actually a, a simulation of any table that will display once you are logged in. So since it's just a, a demonstration, I'll just create a table called data with some random items here. So this again will be displayed once you are logged in. And of course, the usual thing, once you're ready with all the structure, you can head on to appsheet.com and create your app. So I have mine ready. I'll just run you through on the settings. So of course, for user table needs no introduction, where you have the unique ID, the username, the password, and the role I had shown you earlier. So that's very direct and uh, fundamental. What's important here is the login table. The login table here acts as a pseudo login page since AppSheet uh, does not directly support this sort of method, uh, which is the custom login. But we just do it anyway. So in login, we have the login ID. Of course, login ID has the initial value of unique ID here. Then we have the username the password, the timestamp. So a timestamp, um, I'm using date time. And of course, the initial value of now. So this will record the timestamp of the person logging in. Now, what I want to bring to your attention here is the login valid uh, virtual column that I created. Don't worry about the session status and this password here. We'll cover this in the next video. But for login validity, which is login valid, yes or no, here consists a formula that I would like to share with all of you. 
is this where it checks on the username and password that you have entered in the login form which i'll demonstrate later so whenever it does it will search the username and password back in the user table and as long as it's more than zero which obviously is one it will allow the user to sort of uh, log in since it's a valid username and password so once that happens you are able to use the app uh, as usual and the other thing is in password i've actually added an extra layer of security which is the data validity um, using valid if statement here so the expression i've used is quite similar to the uh, login validity expression i shared earlier same similar to that where it will search on for the username and it refers back to the user table so as long as the the current username and current password in the form exists in the user table uh, user tables username and password then it will allow for the login session to happen so let me bring you here so as you can see in the app is quite empty because i'm not logged in so if i click on login here it will ask for my username and password so of course if i simply use any sort of input it will say it's a wrong password please contact admin for assistance but if i were to use a working password let me try this quickly for you so again uh, something to note please make sure the password that you use is adhering to the best practices which means following the uh the certain character length of characters the use of symbols and numbers to make sure it's harder for people to actually uh guess your password so once you have that ready, you may simply click on save. But before that, I've actually added another action called success in the login table for the login table, which will display the uh, confirmation message where it will say it's a successful login. Uh, so this happens in my... Uh, login view where in display it will uh, behave by action to take when events occur when the form is safe use success so the success is the action that I created earlier so once I click save you will see the confirmation message and once I click on success you should be able to use the app as normal so here means i'm able to see the data since i'm logged in and we'll cover the rest in part two so i hope you enjoyed the video and i guess you got the hint already there'll be a part two uh, in for this video for this customized login uh, module but then again just to recap please try your best to ensure that your app is always secure since you'll be dealing with a lot of data and data security is no joke something we are not supposed to be playing around but with this customized login you can actually explore more uh, features that can be done in AppSheet and perhaps that could actually enhance your applications in the future so with that thank you very much I hope to see you guys in the next video if you haven't subscribed please do so and leave, leave a like. Let, let me know what you'd like to see in the comment section down below. So happy holidays. Take care. Bye-bye.